Hi right, guys, welcome back. Um, people keep asking me, how do you fly with a keyboard? If you look right now, it's my mouse is not affecting my flight at all. And then all of a sudden it is. Um, it's kind of an acquired uh, skill. It takes a little bit of practice. It took me a long time to get to where I'm at right now. But you see I'm, I'm flying the plane with just a keyboard, no problem. And we're just doing a custom battle right now so I can have a controlled scenario. But uh, basically what I was trying to show you guys real quick. So use your your look key so you can look around, right? Most people figured this out by now. It's C by default. And uh, so I have that bound. As long as I'm holding that, the plane flies straight. So now you see it's still engaged. The plane still wants to go wherever the mouse was. And that creates really awkward scenarios for the plane, which sometimes causes it to rip. But if you hold the look button and you look behind you and you tap the elevator real quick, something just changed. All of a sudden, the mouse is no longer controlling the aircraft. As long as I hold that look button, I can keep flying this way. See how easy things become. Now the rudder's not engaged, I can roll. But if I disconnect, if I let go of that free look button, all of a sudden the mouse is controlling it again. Why is this important? Real quick, just to show you, I'm going to do this real quick. I'm just going to pull the mouse all the way to the left. Watch what happens. I'm going to rip. Well, okay, I didn't rip that time, but I will eventually. It's a very dangerous maneuver. Um, so, by looking behind me, tapping the elevator real quick, and all of a sudden I have keyboard control, right? So I can control my turn without overloading. And now I'm completely controlling the plane with the keyboard. And I'm able to make sure that I don't black out by backing off the elevator real quick. And this is all just basic controls, my ASDWs, what's controlling me right now. And I can fly away. I can maintain my speed a lot easier. I just look ahead of me every once in a while. And uh, it's not too bad. So things to remember, though, with this trick, it's... Uh, it's kind of finicky, so if I hold the look button, I look behind me, and I tap the rudder, it doesn't do it. It's very finicky. You have to tap the elevator. Once you tap the elevator, it disconnects, and you can go back to flying. So now I can go in here. I can control. See how it's starting to black out, so I let off. Now I can go in, and I can keep fighting these guys. I can dodge, and I can set myself up. Dodge them a little bit more. A little bit of blackout, but we still have control. So now I can dodge all day looking behind me. These guys will never be able to hit me. Obviously, these are bots, but in a similar scenario, nobody will be able to hit me. See how easy this is? It's not that bad. So now I can control my plane, do whatever I want, keep flying, and keep the situational awareness. I'm looking behind me. I'm looking behind me. Looking around, making sure there's nobody coming, right? Now I can ignore these guys, dive out. They're getting too close and say I wanted to help my teammate I just dive out real quick but you ever notice like when I'm flying if you're watching my videos the second I get up to someone I look behind me real quick and then come over it's just a force of habit and then the second I want to aim I just let go of the uh, the free look and we're back in so now my mouse is disconnected again as long as I'm going here as long as I don't tap the rudder the rudder is not actually going to rip the plane, it's not actually being used, which is one of the biggest problems you have with sabers. So now I can line up my shot with the mouse and get rid of them. Just like that, I look behind me and all of a sudden, as long as I'm holding the free look, I'm back to keyboard control. So it's really not that bad. It's, it's definitely an acquired skill. It'll take you guys a little bit to get used to. You watch your airspeed and your altitude a lot. But um, it's very, very beneficial. It's how I maintain my situational awareness. It's how I honestly stay alive as much as I do. And you see, we just line up our shot, get rid of him. Look behind me. I see there's more coming, so I just keep flying. Pretty simple, guys. Hopefully this helps you a little bit. Lastly, I'm going to leave you with a little bit of uh, F2, or uh, rather F86 F2 gameplay, and uh, hopefully uh, after what I've showed you, you guys can see uh, see how I use the keyboard, see how I control everything, but more so this is like a, this is a really good game, I'm going to show you how to screw it up. Um, 
without further ado, enjoy the footage. Hope you guys learned a little bit today. And if you have any questions, feel free to join my Discord. The link's down here in the description. And uh, any other questions, I'll answer in the comments. Thanks a lot, guys. Enjoy. Cause I'm done cleaning up your mess Found myself in my regrets I've become a little stronger now 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 You cast in on my promises You know I'm too generous Casting on my promises You know I'm too generous Now I've learned to never help you